Hi everyone, it's Jacob of Thessal here today. We're gonna to be talking about the importance of networking. Um, some of the things we're gonna go over today are going to be finding the IP address for your router, as well as accessing your networking equipment. Now the IP address can be found either from a smart device or a computer within your home. Um, once the IP address has been found, we are able to log into your computer or a smart device, enter it into your web browser and access the networking equipment. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna to want to ensure that our smartphone or PC is connected to the network, either via Ethernet's cable or a Wi-Fi connection. Once this is done, we are going to pick our favorite IP scanner and go ahead and start a scan. Now, typically, the router will pop up as the top IP address. Some of the most common IP addresses we see for our routers are 192.168.0.1, as well as 1.1. Um, another common is 10.0.0.1. Once we have the correct IP address for our router, we will go ahead and enter it into our web browser. It will pull up the web GUI or the login page for your routing system. Once you enter in your credentials, you will be able to make modifications to your network. We will go ahead and look for them at the bottom of our router. Not all routers are going to have the credentials located there, and that's okay. We can do a simple Google search to see what the default credentials are, and they will typically populate. If you are unable to find your credentials or the default credentials aren't working, feel free to contact your internet service provider or give the unit a factory reset. Now that we're logged into our router, we should be able to make all the necessary changes to make the vessel run efficiently. Thanks for watching.